Hey guys, so in today's video, we're talking about GAD clause. A GAD clause, which is also known as a return or a GAD statement, are conditions which are placed at the beginning of a function so that you can check for errors and early return the code without having to go through the logic of the function. So basically, instead of proceeding with the whole logic of the function, which is the main logic of the function, the GAD clause helps you to check the important variables and inputs and then is it if they are not met and as you can see this function we take the username and we take the password now based on what we're seeing here we're checking that the username is not empty which is this line here and after checking the username is not empty if it's empty if it's not empty inside of it we check that the password is not empty and then inside of that we can do the login logic which is the main logic we are after now we, have, we can set the else block for the password so if password is empty we, we return password is empty now if um username is not empty we return username is not empty so as you can see here this code will run perfectly and it will work perfectly but we can see that it's kind of crowded instead of t it's too um crowded basically so with that process we can simplify this code we can make this code more readable and this is how it looks like when we when we use GAT clauses. So right now we can see that it's different from the first. For comparison, I'll keep them side by side. Now you can see that this other one is cleaned. So we check that the user name is not empty. And next we check that the password is not empty. Before we go over to the main logic. So now we don't have nested if statements and we don't have um, else statements anymore. Our code is cleaner, our code is shorter. So what are the benefits of GAT clauses? The very first is feasibility. You can't compare this old code to this new code. You can see they are not the same. The new code is more readable, it's easy to follow and it's easy to understand. Unlike the old code where there are multiple nested if statements and else statements, you have to keep following the trail. Number two, early error detection. Because we are checking for errors before our main logic, we detect any error in the code before the main logic. Say for instance, you're taking the username and an email, and we do know we'll be searching for this email in the database. So instead of having to go into our in block and putting an email that doesn't exist or an email that is null, we can actually check for this early, and if it's null, we just return it without having to um, do multiple checks and at the end it fails. The next here is simplified control flow. So you can see the flow is very controlled and simplified. So we don't have a block for our main logic. It's now on its own and due to the return values in the checks, we know that this block will run only when these conditions are met. So in conclusion, guard clauses just helps us write better codes as we address our exceptions up ahead before the whole logic of the code base. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel and I'll see you later.